Hey everyone, Paul Humiller here, Dream Guitars. This is a Steve Fisher Aria guitar. Steve Fisher is a builder that we've worked with a bunch in the past. Um, Steve, we, many years ago, worked at McPherson Guitars, and then Paul Reed Smith hired him to help him start the acoustic line at PRS Guitars, and Steve was one of the original designers and builders of those guitars, and then he was been on, on a, out on his own for quite a while now as well. Um, this is a very interesting guitar and a bit different. Um, I think this guitar, um, my hunch is it was ordered by someone who wanted a steel string guitar that had some nylon string sensibility. And by that, what I mean is the sound. It has um, the woods and everything. The design is, it has a softer, more beautiful rounded attack, which hopefully you'll have a chance to experience here. But let me tell you a bit more about the guitar first. And I think what's doing it, a big part of it is this top. It's a beautiful vintage style sunburst and I really like the way it's sort of pixelated in the area where the color transitions. And, but it might look like spruce because of the sunburst, but it's actually Alaskan yellow cedar, um, which is a wood I really like a lot. We've seen a lot of guitars over the years with Alaskan yellow cedar. And I think what it's bringing to this guitar is that real sensitive touch and that round attack, um, which reminds me a little bit of a crossover nylon string guitar. Um, super clean lines. You know, he's a great maker. You have beautiful flame maple, um, flamed maple for the rosette rings. Very just simple, clean fingerboard with nice little inlays there. Slotted headstock, again, like a classical guitar might, with Waverly tuners, mahogany neck, and then really pretty, just Honduran mahogany on the back, again, tinted in a way that keeps the color of the guitar intact. And look at these bindings, if you can see that. That's Sapelli, figured Sapelli, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous quilted wood that we sometimes see on whole backs, but um, in this case, it really adds drama to the, just the way the guitar is wrapped on the edges. So again, um, this also has a Bags Lyra pickup system in it, just so you know, so it's already amplified. And as I play the guitar, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what I mean. There's just this sensibility of the notes feel that but the attack the way they come out is not so sharp there's a little bit more of a rounded edge to it like a nylon string might so anyway all that's to say this might be a good guitar for you if you want a guitar that will inspire some different music and maybe have a um a more sensitive softer touch to it not so much going to be a bluegrass banger but really cool guitar to play and hold so let's have some fun with this steve fisher aria mm -hmm. 